Netbank is proud to present the Netbank Cup Kiona Team Search. Dynamic. Exhilarating. The Netbank Cup Team Search. Kiona. The Netbank Cup. The one. That's team three. Team four, green. Welcome. We've come to the end of boot camp for the eighth season five. Number 12. Number 14. Number 26. Gentlemen, it's unfortunate that he could not make it to the next boot camp. Hi, guys. What's up, guys? Logo, who is so to do? As good as get it, did it somebody? Hello, everyone, and welcome once again to the most exciting and intense footballing reality show on TV. Now, the contest of dreams, the epic quest to turn hopefuls into heroes, the NetBank Kio Net Team Search. Just a few weeks ago, there were hundreds of contenders from all over the country hoping to make it into the final squad to take on the Netbank Cup champions, Supersport United, in one of the great highlights of the beautiful game in South Africa. Kule Vige Lule, those hundreds had been whittled down to just a mere 48. Kule Vige, we only have 30 hopefuls about Sele. That just goes to show how serious the coaches are about sifting the very, very best of the rest. And by the end of this episode, we'll be left with only the top 25. About Dalige, that means even more pressure, Ebego Bona. Even more hard work, Etingega Ayongak Bona. Even more early mornings, exercises, Agulalwa, guys. Let's cross over to the field of battle and see what the coaches have in store for our fun. So you multiply a number by two, you get me. Don't say 100. Nah, that's the number. Congratulations for making it this far, firstly. I hope that you all are proud of yourselves and your achievement this far. And I hope that you learned a lot from Bootcamp 48 and focused on working hard, both on and off the field. Meaning, mentally, meaning how you ate, and also meaning training other than just playing football. You guys are going to be doing an intermittent yo-yo test, and I need you guys to be mentally strong for this test. Yes. I don't feel up there, you. What is this? At least you know when you feel the silver was 17.5 at least. 14. Is there the type of situation to give up? And there are echo grand, right? The situation to give up for the paparazzi. What do you want? I'm going to say hi. I feel disappointed because I wanted to reach a final mark, but next time I'll work harder, of course. That's it. Chima, over the line, Baba. Change. It's not easy. It's not easy. Yo. This thing is kidding me. I felt like I was running out of energy. So, I felt the chest pain, so I felt why not stop? Because I'm already at 17. It was out of 30. But I was just chilling and trying to look sexy. Eh, left 64. What do you see? But I hope. I press out. Being at level 19. Myself, you know, it, it, it really gives, gives me something to work up, to work on, you know, and I feel motivated because it shows that I was following the program obviously, and I've been working hard, you know, like I said, this is the yo-yo intermittent recovery. I come along me, I'm to do it, I'm to
Ekaya, no mama, no baba. Um, a very religious family. Skulile and Jay. Um, it's very exciting. I have a brother of mine, Ayanda. She's very close. I was also schooling just so okay. I'm currently enrolled at the University of Johannesburg, um, doing bachelor's in public management and governance, of which I think that's a very important, you know, something to fall back on. I think my father is my role model. You know, he's, he's worked very hard, you know, for us, actually, for myself. The lessons as Fundisa Wana as a man, you know, is, is not in the same career as myself, but it's someone that I look up to that is very close to me. I learn, I've learned a lot from him, and you know, it will mean a lot actually. You know, it's, it's, it's a passion, it's a drive, you know, it's, it's something that you see, you, you think about it, you dream about it. You know, so just really need to work hard. It will mean a lot to me, actually, you know, achieving your own goals. You have this talent, you have this drive that you want to succeed and you want to do one, two, and three, you know, and that will make me happy. My breakthrough was after matric. You know, I got an opportunity to go play in the NFT for Dynamos. And then, lucky enough, because of the good performances, because of this, the sacrifices and the hard work, I was you know, um, scouted by uh, uh, Barker, the tax, former tax coach. Do you understand? Because in life, you'll never know who's watching. Do you understand? You guys can play a friendly against Chiefs. It's not like you're going to be scouted by Chiefs or Pat, because you never know who's watching there. People are looking for young talent out there. I go to training at 9, I finish at 12. I've got a car, I've got money. What you do, from 12 o'clock until you go to bed is key. Because remember, you've got money, you've got a car, you can do whatever you want. That's when most of the guys I played with, Abang Azang, Ebabe Krent, they lost their head. That's when they lost like everything. So it's not easy to, but it's easy to go down like that. I get very, you know, excited, you know, uh, about this kind of, you know, initiatives. You know, I think this is great for for the future of South African football, you know, just to, you know, to, to have these boys here, you know, in you know, the training sessions, you know, um, the, the, you know, the great coaching um, they get, because I believe here, here in NetBank, you have, you know, quite good coaches, you know, just to, to, to nature them, you know, and, and prepare them for, for, for professional level. With the away match in Soweto only days away, the pressure is on. The competition has reached a crucial stage and the boys, well, they need to be at the peak of their physical and mental fitness. But the coaches need to strike a fine balance between pushing them further and harder and not wearing them down completely. Now the answer lies in a combination of football orientated exercises and dynamic stretches. The training is getting a little bit tougher and the stakes of course, well, for the remaining 30 contenders, are higher than ever. I saw some of you already going on. Sideways. I don't want that. small-sided game, it's playing football in a condensed size of a pitch. The reason being one, everybody's got to have a contact of the ball most of the times. Number two, you've got to make decisions in congested areas, you've got to be a quick thinker. Number three, you've got to make sure you hit your target quickly before the other team recovers. The small-sided game too, once you take longer, by So it's important that they must do the simple thing, get your contact, get the first ball, tuck, 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 and then 
you played and you spun it. It's difficult to mark a guy when he hasn't hit the ball. I'm in a form of it to be in a gamma street of it to have a I stay with my dad currently. Uh, my parents got divorced about two years ago and my dad got married again. So uh, I'm blessed to have two mothers right now and I, I'm loving it actually. My dad wants me to finish off school and after that, he says I can do whatever. But I, I think I am, with, with my time management skills, I am slowly but surely getting there. And I am balancing the two because at the moment I'm currently studying. Um, I'm in my second year of sports science and it's going very well. And on the other hand, um, I'm playing soccer and it's currently going well at the moment as well. And I'm very blessed to have a family who are backing me all the way and they are always wishing me luck and they're always there to support me. We are all given the the same opportunity to prove ourselves. And I think I've been pushing myself to the limit in order to, to make it further. I know I am hungry for this opportunity and I'm willing to do whatever it takes to, to make it through. So with everything that we do, I'll be giving my 100 and I hope it drops off on the coaches. I think it's, it's not just about soccer and it's about um, learning from each and every day because as an aspiring sports scientist, during the tests, I was learning a lot from, from the likes of Simone. Firstly, I'd like to thank NetBank for this opportunity. Without them, um, the players such as Aubrey Mudiba might not be where they are right now. And I'd like them to keep doing this and adding more and more initiatives to this and adding more opportunities to it. They've taken the heat in a tiring bout of high intensity physical training. It's time to chill out, cool down as the players head for the welcome relief of the ice baths. This cold therapy is designed to combat micro trauma and repair small tears in muscle fiber from one extreme to the other. The boys get ready to enjoy a break on ice but soon the heat will be on all over again There is nothing routine about what's going to happen next. After another session of skills development, lectures, hard physical training, the boys get Papangishi Kwamazabo. They're getting ready to leave the high performance center to face yet another opponent.
We've just arrived in Soweto and our boys, the Kiona Team Search team, is playing up against Nike Academy. Okay. He fell on the turf and he grazed his lip. Um, it's nothing bad, he'll be able to continue. We just need to check um, and get him to get some stitches because it's in the mouth. If a man is coming, you can always put your body and protect the ball and play it. Let's play. They are congested in the middle now. <laughs> they are like this. Open up, open them up. Uh, what we wanted to see was uh, to understand what we want them to do. Uh, we wanted them to, to keep it simple, basic football, and obviously create a lot of chances, but it wasn't to be. I let them not if it too. I let them not. He all out to today. He came said it. Because what did you take final day? Walk at you. So, let me never run up on say, for one COVID team. After two tough as nails matches against the Nike Academy at Sosueto, it's time for the coaches to make an even tougher choice. Five players will have to say goodbye. They'll need to be cut from the squad and make their way home. It's never an easy decision, especially at this stage of the game. But right from the outset, every netbank here on a contender knew that it could be this. The moment has finally arrived. The coaches are about to give their final decision about who's going to make it into the top 25. We're about to find out right now. Good afternoon, boys. I'm sure you guys, you are, you are standing there thinking about what's going to be happening to you today. Uh, but let me tell you, today you gave a very good performance. I think you deserve a round of applause. We believe that uh, you are all good. You're all good enough to stay. But in a game of football, you know that uh, even when you are making a team of 18, only 11 players can enter the field. And without wasting any time, the players that I'm going to call, they have to move forward. Number 36. Number 15. Number 31, number 24, and the last number for this camp is number 45. It doesn't end here. You have given your best, but uh, well done once more. And unfortunately, you people are not able to go forward with us. They deserve a round of applause for being with us. What did you learn so far so, till this, this moment? I've learned a lot of things, and but the coaches told us that we should be strong and the exercises that we do, we don't do it back home, so I think I've learned a lot from this game. Brilliant. Yes. What do you think are some of the things that you need to work on 
most important to you moving forward? Uh, I think height. I mean, it cost you too much because. Uh, Any height. Yeah, mm -hmm. because I'm a defender, so I don't think they're gonna allow to allow any defender shots, especially okay. as a centre back. So, can you now change your position or what? Yeah, that's the only option I have for now. So, what's your alternative position? And I'm playing as centre. I think right back or central defensive. Mm. Yeah. I want to remind all of you guys, you guys are still so young. There are years and years and years for you to get incredible opportunities. It's not the end. Yeah. You're going to come back next year? Yeah, I'll come back definitely next year. Good. Um, going to rectify my mistakes. I've learned a lot uh, mm -hmm. from the from Coach Monde. Yeah, he's been a really, um, really good coach to me. Mm -hmm. I learned, uh, learned so many things, even in the camp. Um, punctuality is very important. What you eat, you should watch what you eat. Mm -hmm. All the stuff, we, we had the best treatment ever. I feel so hateful and disappointed in myself because I didn't get enough chance to prove myself, so I got this injury. So I think that's why I've been cut off. My plan is to go home and recover, as the doctor said, to go. I should recover and rest now to take bit strong. How are you doing? Uh, I guess alright. Mm -hmm. I feel good for myself. I get lekker gespeeld vandaag. Yeah. Paar aans gemaakt, great goals. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I feel I guess alright. Baie geleer. Mm -hmm. Wat ek geleer het gaan ek volgende jaar gebruik. Ek kom terug. I love your positive energy and that attitude is exactly what's going to take you so far. Yeah. And I want you to come back next year because I feel like you are prepared okay. for a soccer career ah. because your attitude is just right. Jy gaan my sien volgende jaar. I will see you. I know. Yeah. You'll see me too. <laughs> well done. Thanks. Thank you all. <laughs> sure, sure. That's the kind of attitude to have if you want to make it far in life. Even though but I can feel what they are feeling inside I'm a cheetah. This is one job that I could, well, I'm through to the next round. I left to fight again in the cart. I'm going to go last 23 and going to the last 18 and going forward. I'm going to go to the last 18 and going to top 25 this season here to your net bank here on a team search. Silfisela in Tanta, Kuhabulunu, Olusesa. And to our top 25, well done. You prove that you've got what it takes, the guts, the discipline, the stamina to stay focused and stay in the game. You're almost there, but there's still a lot of hard work, a lot of hard training ahead of you. And we'll be watching closely as the countdown continues. And yet, another two players face the final goodbye. Who will it be? Be sure to join us next week for another exciting episode of this, the NetBank Your Net Team Search. Hey, man, I know what's happening. Jimmy, I'm not easy. But did that try there? How are you doing? What are you doing? Netbank is proud to present the Netbank Cup Giona Team Search. Dynamic. Exhilarating. The Netbank Cup Team Search. Giona. The Netbank Cup. The one.